If you want to learn about traveling or solo traveling, you better stick to this video and watch till the end. Welcome to my channel. I'm Sam. I love to travel and I love photography. So this is actually the first YouTube video na I upload ko. And the reason why I started creating this video is to inspire you, mostly young millennials out there, na yung solo traveling is really possible. And this is also a platform to share with you my experience. I share ko sa inyo guys yung advantages and disadvantages of solo traveling. Hindi ko talaga binalak na mag solo travel. It just so happened na nagkaroon ng piso fair or promo fair sa Cebu Pacific, wala kasing available na friends or family members to go with me. It's either hindi pasok sa schedule nila or wala talaga silang budget pa for that. And then, yung piece of fair nangyari siya noong November 2017. Doon ako nakapag-book ng flight from, Bang uh, from Manila going to Bangkok, Thailand. And bakit one-way ticket lang siya? It's because every time na nagbubok ako ng round-trip ticket, nagmamahal siya. And then, naisip ko naman, since matagal pa naman yung travel date, yung travel ko kasi noon is June 2018 pa, baka magkaroon ulit ng promo si Cebu Pacific going back to Manila. And during the process kasi, um, I decided na i-maximize yung travel ko, which is magja-jump ako sa another country, and, and then yung country na yon is Singapore. So, what I did was, naghanap ako ng um, airline na nagkikater from Bangkok, Thailand to Singapore. And ang nahanap ko is yung Thai Lion Air. Nakapag-book ako ng flight for around 800 baht. If i-convert mo siya into peso, it's around 1,200 pesos lang. And then, come December 2017, nagkaroon na naman ng promo fare sa Cebu Pacific from Singapore to Manila and nabook ko lang yung flight na yon for just um, 1,500 pesos. So, all in all, yung flight booking ko, ang nagastos ko lang is more or less 3,500 pesos. So, ganun siya kamura. And then, dun na nag-start yung solo traveling adventure ko. The thing na isha-share ko sa inyo guys is yung disadvantages of solo traveling. So, first disadvantage na na-notice ko kasi is solo traveling, it's costly. It's costly because yung hotel booking mo, yung pamasahe mo, yung pagkain mo, wala kang kahate. When you travel solo guys, you are financially responsible for yourself. So, you better prepare your budget or prepare an emergency fund in case na maubos yung budget mo, at least meron ka pang allowance. Okay? Na hindi mo talaga siya uubusin. And then, tip lang siguro para ma-maximize mo yung budget mo. Sa hotel booking kasi, mostly when you travel in Southeast Asia, makakakuha ka na ng, uh, makakabook ka na ng hotel for around 500 to 1,000 pesos nag-range. Meron na yon. And second, kung kakain ka, pwede kang pumunta sa mga hole-in-the-wall na restaurant na nagkakos lang yung food nila around siguro 100 to 200 pesos per meal. And then marami, marami. Just explore guys and makakahanap ka talaga ng kainan na mura. Siyempre, hindi naman tayo kakain sa mga 5-star na restaurants. Kasi what we want to do is to maximize our budget, right? So, Third and last disadvantage na na-notice ko is that you worry about your safety. Kasi nga guys, when you travel solo or even when you travel alone, there's no one there watching your back. So you worry what if mawala ka, diba? sinong tutulong sa'yo, or what if ma-hold up ka, yung mga ganong bagay. Pero kapag may kasama ka guys, confident ka or nabubus yung confidence mo na walang mangyayaring masama sa'yo. Pero super guys, sa mga travel ko, wala namang masamang nangyari. Thankfully, wala. <laughs> wala namang masamang nangyari. And lahat naman ng tao na na-meet ko is mababait naman sila. The thing na isa-share ko with you guys is yung advantages of solo traveling. So first is yung time. Time to explore more places because you have all the freedom and there's no one there to slow you down. And then there is no restriction in visiting the places that you want and doing all the activities that you want. Kasi a tendency when you are traveling with someone, 
uh, like for example, ako, my interest is about the history, the culture, or visiting historical places like yung mga temples. And yung kasama ko, ang gusto niya is shopping or food trip. So with that, parang hindi masyadong nagko-connect or hindi nagko-connect yung mga interest namin. So, when we create our itinerary, mahahati siya sa interest ko and interest niya. So, tip lang, kung hindi talaga maiiwasan na mag-travel ka with someone, make sure that someone has the same same vibe as you and has the same interest as you. So, another advantage that I noticed is that you'll be able to meet new friends or meet local friends that you can share your ideas, knowledge, and culture with. And one of the best advantage na matututunan mo dito is that you'll be able to have a deeper connection dun sa lugar na pinuntahan mo. And this is the best time for you really to to expand your network, to expand your knowledge about the place that you visited, and mas marami kang matututunan and mas maiintindihan mo how the people live there, and and mas mafeel mo yung connection mo towards the places that you visit because of these people that you meet. Next advantage is about self-discovery. Kasi when you travel solo, you will be able to discover a lot of things about yourself and you will be able to learn about your strengths and weaknesses. Kasi dito sa solo traveling, makakapag-connect ka sa sarili mo without any distraction. And with this, magkakaroon ka ng deeper knowledge on how to find your purpose in life. And I learned that you'll also be less hard on yourself. Dito mo mararamdaman yung mga positive impact niya in your life. Like for example, sa decision making. Kasi in solo traveling, there's no one there to help you out. And whatever it is na maging outcome ng decision mo, you have to own up to it. And also one thing, you'll be able to understand that being alone is okay. Sometimes it is better to be alone and to prioritize yourself. Na minsan, hindi natin kailangan ng ibang tao para sumaya tayo. Teka, hugot yun na. <laughs> and next is about the confidence. Dito mo matututunan kung paano magtiwala sa sarili mo and paano magtiwala sa mga capabilities mo. All these things hindi lang nag apply sa travel but it is also applicable to life in general. About fulfillment or yung achievement natin. Kasi yung mga bagay na akala mo mahirap pero nagawa mo, yung mga bagay na akala mo hindi mo kayang gawin pero nagawa mo, ito din yung happiness pag meron tayong na-achieve ng mga goals and with that, um, we feel proud towards ourselves. So lastly, ito yung question, para kanino ba yung solo traveling? So, for solo traveling is for people na feeling nila lost sila. Kasi there's a higher chance na mas maiintindihan nila yung sarili nila when they travel solo. And next, solo traveling is for people who want to find their value and for those who want to learn how to love their self more. Ano nga ba yung final thoughts ko about solo traveling? So, so for me, solo traveling can positively affect our lives. So, marami tayong matututunan na hindi natin basta-basta matututunan ng hindi natin na-experience firsthand. Yung learnings mo dito, hindi mo matututunan just by hearing other people's story. And pag na-experience mo yung solo traveling, feeling mo magiging limitless ka. Feeling mo rin para kang si Wonder Woman or si Superman na kaya mong gawin lahat. So that's it. I hope marami kayong natutunan. And if you have questions or suggestions kung ano yung mga um, pwede kong maging topics sa next video ko, please comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Okay? Bye-bye!